Hey, y'all. <clears throat> How's everybody doing today? It's Saturday. And I'm having no today, no Saturday. Lord have mercy. Today is Thursday. Today is Thursday, and I'm having one of my favorite snacks. Dark chocolate cranberries. These are so good, y'all. Mm-mm-mm. So good. And I got them from Lowe's Food. <clears throat> I think it was Lowe's Food, yeah. So, um, you guys, are you preparing for the hurricane that's supposed to be heading towards North Carolina? I hope you are. I'm praying that Lord have mercy. I, I'm praying that God have mercy on us. I'm praying for those other states that have been devastated and countries that have been devastated by Hurricane Irma and the other hurricane that hit Houston, Texas. My prayers go out uh, to each and every individual that's affected by this storm. You know, I was talking to my dad the other day over the phone and I was telling him, I said, Dad, I wonder what the Lord is trying to tell us, you know, sending all these storms. And my dad said in one word, repent. <laughs> He's trying to get us to repent and stop being so doggone mean to one another. Amen. Amen. Stop being so doggone mean. And you know there are people that's fussing and fighting over water. Because there's a shortage of water. So people are fussing and fighting over water. And some people are getting like. Uh, seven and eight cases of water at a time and buying all the bread and everything. And I can understand if you got to share, if you buying, you know, water and bread for a family member that can't get out or something like that. But my God, y'all, let, let's share. You know, let's share. If, if you if you don't about seven or eight cases of water and somebody don't even have one case of water, share. Let's let's share. Amen. And I think what that's what the Lord is trying to to open our eyes to see. Stop loving ourselves so much. And it really is and truly is a selfie world, honey. It's all about self, self, self. We got to learn how to share. Not just share your prayers, but you got to share everything in your life that you can share with people. I don't care what it is. But um, my prayer goes out to everyone. Be safe. And, you know, I'm preparing and you know, my family's preparing as, as much as possible, you know, but I'm still praying and believing God that he will have mercy on us. I, I'm serious because only the hand of God can stay a storm. Amen. And I was listening to some people talking about um, they getting ready to go to Canada, you know, take a flight out to Canada. And some were taking a flight out to where did they say this was in the nail salon. I was listening to them talk about it. Take a flight out to. I forgot somewhere else they said, but you know, everybody can't take a flight out to every place. You know what I'm saying? Because they're not financially able. But I always say this, whatever you can do, do. And that that you can't, don't stress about it. Sometimes you're going to have to fall and depend on the hand of God to keep you in the middle of the storm. Because some of us ain't got nowhere to go. We're going to just have to stay where we are and, and go on through it. Amen. And trust and believe God that he'll have mercy on us. All our help come from the Lord. Amen. So anyway, I come on real quick. I want us to, because this is just a fresh month of September, and y'all know this is my grandbaby's birthday month, my little uh, Nana Bread. She'll be two years old on the 16th, and Lord, I don't even think I'm going to be able to get out there to where she is because of the storm and things that's going on, you know? But anyway, Lord, my Nana Bread is growing up so fast with her pretty self. She'll be two, y'all. And then Kinsley, her birthday is in October. She'll be two, too. <laughs> But anyway, I'll come on real quick to tell you guys that um, in the month of September, and even as this month comes to a close, I want us to encourage as women, I want us to encourage one another and celebrate each other as women. When you see another woman that's, that's doing good, celebrate her. You know, tell her how proud you are of her or tell her how beautiful, compliment her, tell her how beautiful she is or smart. You appreciate her. We got to learn to appreciate one another as women and not have the spirit of jealousy on the inside of us. You, you may have a female that can do more things, you know, financially, you know, if you, it's like this here. 
If one man, female see another female, maybe she carrying a Louis Vuitton handbag, driving a Mercedes Benz, and you know she done about a, a six hundred dollar pair of red bottom heels. And sometimes we, as when we look at that, that woman and say, "Honey, she thinks she's something." All that expensive stuff, spending money. We should not have that type of attitude. We shouldn't celebrate her. I wish I could buy a Louis Vuitton handbag, baby. I, you know what I'm saying? I, really, I do. I wish I could, but I can't. You know, but just because there's another female that's able to do more. Maybe she's more educated, got more degrees, this and that and the other. Got a top-notch job. We shouldn't operate in the spirit of jealousy. No, celebrate that woman. Because you don't know what she went through to get where she is. Amen? We we don't know, but you know, we just I just get so tired of hearing negative comments about other females because they are on maybe, you know, they they able to do more than another woman or female is able to do. Or they on another status than another female. All good and good and perfect gifts come from the Lord. Amen. Amen. So we gotta learn how to celebrate our circle. What whatever circle God has drawn for you, celebrate that. Celebrate that. Everybody got a gift that God has given them. So what? If a, if a woman always keeps herself together, is well put. Celebrate that. Hey, I want to endeavor to do that because every day I don't feel like getting up combing my head. Amen. So I'm going to celebrate the one child she combs her head every day. Lord, help me to get better at that. Amen. Don't be jealous. Uh, we can inspire each other to do greater and better things. And when we say as women, oh, she thinks she's something. She, amen. Don't you think you something? You ought to think you somebody too, because if you don't, uh, nobody else will. I don't care what status you own. I don't care what status you own or what type of education you got, baby. You are somebody. And what makes us ugly is when we degrade and become jealous and envy of other women that we perceive to be on a higher status. That's what makes us ugly. Long as you got a beautiful attitude, a beautiful countenance about yourself, that's what matters. And then if you can throw a little Vuitton handbag in with it, hey. That's more cherry on the cake, baby. I celebrate women when I see them all put together. You know what I'm saying? Got themselves together. As long as you keep yourself look good. Look good every day that you can. Because when you look good, I declare you feel better. You do. So let's not be jealous. Let's kill this spirit of jealousy that's straight from the pit of hell. Amen? I declare, and I want y'all to declare it too, we won't be jealous of one another. Not name another female that we're going to be jealous of. We're going to celebrate her in her singleness, singleness, celebrate her in her marriage or her upcoming marriage, celebrate in if she buy a new car, new house, if she gets saved, if she's walking in purity, you know she living right, be celebrate it. Celebrate it. Whatever that woman is doing, celebrate it. And that way we all become strong, don't we? We all become strong. But there ain't nobody wins when we tear each other down. Nobody wins. So let's not tear each other down, at least in this month. And if you can carry it on, carry it on for the rest of your life. I, that's something I don't do. I'm not going to downgrade another female. Ain't going to do it. And no, we ain't all perfect. There are some ugly things about us. But let's pray and encourage each other to stop being so ugly and stop being so mean and stop being so jealous of one another. There's no place for jealousy. All right? Live in your circle, baby. If you can only go to Joneses, or, mm, there ain't no Joneses no more. And you can only go to Family Dollar. And buy you a two dollar ninety nine cent handbag. You buy it, baby, and keep it clean. Keep your two ninety nine 
dollar handbag clean. And buy you one of them little a dollar ninety nine cent poof balls and clip on the end of that's what I do. And keep your stuff clean and keep it looking good, honey. And celebrate your circle. But if Sally Sue got a Louis Vuitton handbag and she got her poof ball on, we can celebrate that too. Amen. But I'm saying like this here, I don't care how many cute handbags you got. If your attitude, if your character and personality is ugly, you gonna be ugly. You gonna be ugly. Mm-hmm. So, um, mm, I'm going to go. Because I'm going to start back eating my little thing. But yeah, let's celebrate one another as women, as female. And we can do anything to help one another. Sometimes, you might got information that I need. Don't hold that information. You know what I'm saying? You can help another female helper. Pray for. Encourage her. Because we all women. I don't care what color we are. We are all women and females. And we and basically desire the same thing, baby. I don't care what color you are. Amen. Amen. So anyway. That is all I wanted to say. Let's celebrate each other. Okay? All right. Talk to y'all later. Toodles. <laughs> hmm.